<laughs> okay, so we're back here again today. This was today our third day. My third day, I mean. So I got this Orbit sander with 150, 100, no, sorry, 80 grit. And I'm just going to go around smoothing out all the high points, making them all, uh, they'll be brighter, right? So let's see here. See a piece where you can see it's actually okay. So remember how dark that is. See how it's lightening up? Now watch this one. Remember how dark that is. Bonus uh, hood too. All the high points are going to be sanding. <sighs> See how much brighter that is? Makes it way more look uh, sticking out. That's uh, my worst thing, people sanding. I friggin' hate sanding, but you got to do it because, uh, well, it comes along with woodworking, I guess. Talk in a bit. Okay, so I do the same thing with my. Uh, little small wood spirits I sand the whole thing the same color the, the mustache different color then I sand the high points and it makes everything pop you know I'm not the type of person to go into chainsaw carving competitions because I know they have them but something like this see those marks there those are cut marks I would grind those out with my uh, belt with my uh, grinder with my uh, carving disc you see how everything pops So now, I did the worst part first, the sanding, which I hate. <sighs> but now, you son of a gun. Now I gotta deal with these things, the hands, curving fingers in there. They don't have to look real. They just kinda have to look like they would be fingers. They already look like they'd be hands standing there, so <clears throat> just kinda cut in there a bit. But I need to hold this part out to get that uh, stick in there, right? Like he's an old man, an old man wizard going for a walk with a stick. Ah, oh, I hate doing stuff that I haven't done much, but you have to progress. That's what that's what uh, life is about, and anything is progressing. You know what I mean? I already said it in my, one of my other wizard videos, people, but who, who cares what other people think? Do what you like to do, do and do it for you. It doesn't have to be carving it doesn't have to be painting it could be goddamn mowing your lawn go outside and mow your lawn if you're not feeling good and something's bothering you get out and do something or stay home and do something to get your mind that's off bothering you yeah i'm bothered every day and reminded that i got the, the brain injury right but i do something to get my mind off it that's why i do this stuff so you know we all have our own mountains just Climb that mountain, and who gives a sh who gives a crap what other people think? Do it for yourself. Oh man. Okay, I'll start working on these freaking hands. Okay, so I bought this hand here. This wooden hand for. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe I'll just I don't know. Put it up there. Ah, <laughs> uh, I bought this for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man uh, uh, <laughs> okay I bought this I bought, I bought this for when I was doing my painting so I could try and learn how to draw hands so like I said in my other videos too you gotta look at a picture when you're doing something <laughs> Oh, what do you think, Wiz? Uh, okay, so, but when, <laughs> when you got to look at a picture or something, when you're carving it, go ahead. So, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'll, uh, I don't know. See, I'll kind of make fingers like that. There you go. 
Let's be bigger. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I uh, kind of got one hand carved in there. See, it's kind of whole. Now uh, what I got to do is figure out how I'm going to hollow out all the way. I got to take all that out in there. All the way through. You know, I might use a drill or... Last time I just used my um, carving tool. But what I shaped this with was my little Dremel and a little carving burr. What is this, a Dremel uh, uh, 100? So yeah, there's uh, one kind of hand kind of done. Big huge wizard hand kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> sticks out really like lots right now because it's so brighter than everything else right okay so I'm gonna be using this uh, what is it a Makita die grinder electric and I'm gonna get this big carving burr and I'm gonna hole out in there Woo! gonna put my dust mask on and then I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna carve all this out with this these, these can be dangerous tool people's like uh to be dangerous tools people make sure you're uh, wearing all your safety gear you know what I mean I'll be wearing my leather gloves and I'll be wearing a desk mask too so uh, this is gonna be fun but you know let's, last let's night when I was uh, thinking about the wizard and what I was gonna do first because the two least things that I the two things I hate doing the most sanding and uh, hands so that's what I suggest you do first, people. Always do the worst things first that you least like doing because then the hard part's over with. Then you can relax and do the, the stuff that you're good at, if that makes sense to you. You know, just get the crap over with. Um, yeah, so anyways, it's all done. I had a great day. I carved another wood spirit after this one too, so I'll t post some pictures of uh, that. And uh, right on. I don't know what I'm going to say now, so I'll stop talking. Okay, so I got uh, that all hollowed out there. See? <laughs> now I couldn't cut off too much here because I don't want to make this hat. You can watch. It kind of moves. I don't want to make it too weak. So, I don't know. Actually, I get a better view from it looking through the camera because I couldn't get my head in there. So I might have to take some more off at the bottom. But let's just have a look. To see this I might not use this stick right this might not be the stick that I use well let's just let's just see what's happening here it's rails in the way okay spin it around okay well that knots in the way so Give me a few minutes, I'm just gonna grind that knot down. <laughs> ah! Oh, would you look at that? It's kind of a little bit of a loose fit in there, but whatever, he's just resting, you know. Might do a little couple carve, it might carve a wood spirit up in here or something quickly. But uh, you can see this, this thing fits perfect! Slides into that punky wood down there. I think we found a keeper. <laughs> or I got other sticks too. Yeah, this big sucker. Maybe I'll try and put this big thing in there. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Okay, yeah, I try use tried using that other stick, this one here. And it's just too, uh, it's just too thick. You know, like I said, it, it, these fingers are kind of getting weak. There's not much wood there. There's a little bit, good inch, half inch. But the grain's, grain is going that way, so I don't want to uh, try and 
jeopardizing breaking those fingers off. So I'll just use the other one. Okay, there's kind of like his uh, big wizard hands done. They still stick out really bad because I got to burn them, right? So I'll do that after. But what I want to explain here is I hold this outlet a little bit, not much, just in case somebody wants to put something in there, like a, I don't know, whatever, something. So what I got to do now, because you got this hollow part in here, and it'll be outside, you don't want water to sit in there. So I got this, uh, I forget the name of them, but they're like hole saw things. Uh, got it from my good friend Pete. And uh, I'll just drill right through down here so the water can always a trap, a escape from the bottom, right? Up down there, through there. Okay, so I got something, I got to cut out a little bit in there so somebody can put something in there, like I said earlier. Then I got a hole drilled all the way down so the water can drain out. I carved this, uh, some of this rot a bit deeper too. So the staff can stick in there. I'm not worried about this. If it rots out over the years, like slowly disintegrates, no big deal. It kind of goes with the piece. So what I'm going to do now is lightly burn the hands with this little torch I got hooked up to a propane tank. Thanks to my uh, friend once again. So I'm not going to burn this too much. I'm just going to, I can burn in here really good. Because if you burn your wood, it's going to crack, right? So I don't want to burn this too much. So this cracks right off. So I'm just lightly hitting it. You can do in there good. This will help round the uh, fingers off too. here really good I got a problem of wanting to jump all over the place when I'm uh, working on my pieces I gotta slow down and just focus on one area at a time still see just a little bit of rotten wood left in there not much just a little tiny bit just the surface okay so now I'm gonna sand it we're almost done okay so <clears throat> excuse me the wizards done I just gotta oil it and I'll let the wood uh, it's, this wood's pretty very dry, but I'll let it breathe for a week or so before I spray some oil on it. But yeah, so here it is. It's got his old stick in there. Stick worked out perfect. Somebody could put something here, beer can or whatever they want to do to hold it. But like I said, guys, it's just about... Um, uh, I'm pretty sore today. It's just about enjoying yourself and uh, making the best out of your life that uh, you got. You know, we're all, uh, we all got dealt a different hand, a hand of uh, cards. I got dealt mine and I'm, I'm doing what I can do best to win, right? This shit makes me happy. This is what I do. 
This is me winning for myself. You gotta win for yourself. Don't let anybody tell you, again, I know I repeat myself, what to do or who to be, be yourself. Be true to you. What do you think there, old Wiz? Yeah, don't just do what you wanna do. Be happy and be real people. Thanks for watching, guys. You can follow me on Instagram at uh, Carving Fusion. Carving underscore fusion. See you later. I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Oh shit, it's only noon. Why don't you just carve another wood spirit, Jordy? Hey Wiz, what do you think? Carve another wood spirit? Yeah, I say hell yeah. <laughs> Let's carve another wood spirit. This isn't gonna be a tutorial though. This is just gonna be me carving. I'm not gonna film it or nothing. I'll do that for another day. This is just me having fun. Ah, oh, it's a good day to carve, people.